Good evening, guys. Missed the light switch. Let's get a bit of light on the subject, shall we? Well, I thought I'd do a more in-depth video of <coughs> excuse me, the Toshiba Satellite Pro 490X CDT. I think. I think that's what it is. Well. This machine I rescued from um, a trailer full of rubbish that was sitting at my friend's uh, house. I um, just happened to walk past his trailer as we were going out to the backyard and there it sat so I rescued it. And it came with that, that and the power pack. And it does work. I haven't actually done anything to the machine. Apart from plugging the power, of course. Uh, here's a little look at the docking station. We'll look at that first show. It's got two ports, one for mouse, one for keyboard. It's got audio. Yeah audio. That's line out, line in, so that'll be speakers out I expect, and microphone, video monitor, printer, ah, uh, I've forgotten the name for that port now, game port, and two USB ports, and on the side here we've got the locking mechanism, and as you can see it came complete with the key, volume control, a little panel that flips down there, and that actually looks like, to me, that a hard drive might slide in there, I'm not sure. That's what that connector looks like. Anyway, moving on, there's another... I'm not actually sure what this is. That's, a, that's all that does. Uh, I wonder if that's the release mechanism for it. I want it on the base, that might be. All right. I'll turn it around. <coughs> on this side we've got a little lock sliding catch there. And... Ah! PCIe... I um, can't remember what they call them. But they do the same job as the... PCIe on a desktop. Upgrade slots. So I could put a... Uh, uh, <coughs> choking on my own spit. Put like a wireless adapter or something in there, or another USB card or something. I'm not sure what this is. I've never seen one before. But uh, that's a quick look at the docking station for it. It's the front of the uh, laptop itself. And, uh, three audio ports on the front. Line in, microphone, speaker, volume. Yeah, upgrade slots, CD drive. On the back, it's only got one. I think that's a USB port. It's got VGA and printer ports up this end. Only one socket for keyboard or um, mouse and your power socket there. And there's a power button on this side and another one of those sockets which I'm not sure what it's for. Ah, there's a floppy drive symbol, or floppy disk symbol there, so maybe there was some sort of floppy, <coughs> sorry, external floppy disk drive that went there. Oh, and this has got infrared as well. It's a bit marked on top of the case, but uh, it's not too bad. So, what I'll do now is I'll... Uh, slide it back onto the docking station. And, uh, 
lock it in place so it doesn't fly off. <coughs> I forgot to mention as well that there's a um, power socket on the docking station as well, which you probably saw when I was going over the back anyway. Uh, apart from a few marks on the lid here, she's not too bad for condition, cosmetic condition at least. Uh, there is one button missing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Got lots of various LEDs on the front. That one looks like for CD-ROM, hard drive. And that's a battery light, but it's also got a battery inside a box there, so I'm not sure what that one is. Let's power on. And power from the mains. Who needs a password? Hmm? Volume's a bit low. That one's all the way up. Turn down at the front. Ah. Have you noticed this doesn't have Ethernet? But I can get it online. If we just walk through to the shit tip I'll call a bedroom. On the shelf here is a USB Wi Fi adapter. And so I've never had this connected to the Wi-Fi yet. I'm going to need to set that up. So I will be keeping my top secret Wi-Fi key. All I've got to do is plug it into a USB port. Hopefully that will recognise it. It's doing something. Might need an extension cable because it might not be plugged in properly. Or it might just be taking its sweet time. Free, so I can click on things. Ah, got a Wi Fi light flashing on that, so that's good. I think that's my old hub. Yeah, that is my old BT hub, but still got the. Oh, I do hate these pointers. It's got one of these little. Uh, knob things on the middle of the keyboard, and I hate the damn things. Right. Let's go to the AP list to find me. Where am I? Found it. Ooh, another BT Hub local. asking for a login server. should be asking me for my passcode, not... Hmm. Okay. Let's 
change these and see what happens. PTIE thingy one I can connect to the laptop. Don't think no it won't work with this software. I'd have to download the correct software. Nope. This is deciding to be awkward and doesn't want to work. It's not the system, it's the bloody thing itself. doesn't want to play ball. Hmm. I wonder if I reboot the system. Got a game downloaded on the other PC to uh, install on this one. When I can find my... Um, Flash drives. I've got two of them. I've got one yellow one and one silver one, and I can't find either of them at the minute. I was using the mast in the kitchen here, but uh, I haven't seen them. Hmm. It could be anywhere. I need one though. Need one to put the game on this machine. games already on this. Well, I can't use my Ethernet cable here. But, uh, there is no Ethernet socket. There's not even um, a modem on this. Hmm, I may try it through a cable. Whoops, wrong one. Just hit exit, not bloody next. Yeah, it's still doing it. Right. I don't need one extension cable, don't I? Come with me, my pretties. Go with you and find one. Have I got one underneath the desk here? Ouch, I'm still on a mouse. Still 
wrong type. Wrong type. The correct type. There we go. Down in front of the laptop. A little green flashy light has gone off on this as well. Right. Twat. Try plugging it in the correct end. Just trying to plug the male end of this to the ma into the male end of the bloody cable. It's not going to work like that. Good signal anyway, because the hub is there. <laughs> <laughs> it was the glass. Alright, so we just plugged it in again. Still haven't found my bloody flash drives. do this with my armadas as well, I'll bring them through and uh, have a proper play on them. And this is done setting this bloody thing up again, because I changed the USB port. I'll uh, see if we can find the um, specs panel. You know, I think I should have plugged a mouse into this. So what we got? Well, Pentium 2 processor <laughs> and 64 megabytes of RAM. Wow. I'm actually wondering if this was on Windows 95 to begin with. It might have been. May not have been. Despite this low amount of RAM, it is still working fine. See, it opens things up pretty damn quick. Hmm. No, it's not going to let me. Uh, Log in. Oh, am I? Let's have a gander. Uh, see what else we've got on here. I don't think I've actually properly looked myself. Online services. AT and T World Net service. Serve Prodigy Internet. It'd be interesting to get this online and see if any of those are still active. Probably not. MS Dump. MS Dumped. MS DOS Prompt. Not MS Dumped POS. Outlook Express. Windows Explorer. No, there are not a lot of programs on this. was under Accessories. Internet Tools. Internet Connection Wizard. Personal Web Server. Entertainment, communications. I've always just got dialed up networking on this one, this hasn't actually got a modem fitted. System tool, too far down. System tools, not really a lot on here, is there? enough of this video. I'll uh, probably pull out my armada and see if I can get that going online. I can't remember if I put the wireless on any of them though. 
Oh, I did on the Windows 2000 uh, mod because the um, Ethernet isn't working. Anyway, so uh, what I'll do, I'll end the video and uh, talk to you again soon. So, bye.